Hello friends. A puppy dog, along with seven of his siblings, was discovered abandoned inside a bag of canine food. When Nicole Olson and Ella Harper Spratt heard multiple screeches coming from a trash at a truck stop, they went to probe. The extraordinary circumstance passed on November 1st this time, while driving through Murray, Australia, between Wigley Flat and Kingston. Nicole raised the lid of the vessel after hearing the groans and saw two 40-pound bags of canine food piled on top of each other. The bags were secured with a line meant to hang apparel, and the pups outside were in hopeless need of backing. Nicole decided to call her family members to help her in delivering the puppies while she was coming from a family gathering in Renmark. The Bitsy Bones appeared to be in poor health. They were overran with spongers and fleas, and it was clear that the thing of their abandonment was to ensure that they would not survive. Nicole's cousins answered the call, dividing the children into three vehicles and transporting them to Nicole's house in Gawler. To keep the two sickest puppies awake, they were covered in apkins and stroked the entire trip. They notified the RSPCA of South Australia when they returned home, and the puppies were removed and taken to a veterinary clinic. Unfortunately, one of the sickest failed on the trip. The remaining six puppies, three boys and three ladies, were all flea overran, sponger overran, and dehydrated, and were treated right down. According to the Daily Mail, the RSPCA's head inspector said this circumstance represents the zenith of beast atrocity. We've no indication how long these puppies had been there because they were discovered by coexistence. The inspector went on to say that the existent who did this did not want any of the puppies to live since he'd left them in similar bad shape. The temperature reached 25 C when they were discovered, turning the concrete vessel into an freaking conflagration for the children. Tykes, unlike humans, cannot sweat and must calculate on panting and heat affair from their paws and tips to stay warm. As a result, cooling down was veritably delicate for the small children who were trapped within food sacks and a vessel. The positive news started to come in after RSPCA levies brought the sick surviving puppies back to health. Nicole and her family chose to borrow Angel, who stands out among the other puppies since he's the only bone who's red and full of love. Nicole had this to say, we all had a soft place for Angel because he was the youthful and looked to be floundering a lot. Her family had hoped to borrow all of the puppies, but she said that this wasn't possible, so they chose to borrow at least one. 